We both had Android phones, but then this one had to go over to the dark side. However, that does now mean we have the choice between Android Auto and Apple CarPlay when we travel. And that's what this video is gonna be all about. We're gonna see which one's better inside and out, see which one does better performance, has better voice controls, better maps, better everything. And we're gonna be keeping score, so nobody gets a free pass here. So let's go ahead and get into the ultimate smackdown of Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay. All right, so we're gonna start out here with CarPlay, so I'm just gonna plug in my phone here. All right. And first things first, uh, I really like how CarPlay looks a lot better than Android Auto in my opinion. It is pretty aesthetically pleasing. It looks just like your iPhone. You've got your apps down here. You got your home button here that you can hold down to control Siri. And then you do have your three most recent apps here on the side as well as your time. Um, one of the nicest things I like about Apple CarPlay is that you can just hit this messages thing and go straight to your messages. So. As you can see, I just got a text at 7 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and you can go all the way back for a while. And then here you have your phone. Calling, calling. Well, I'm noticing something right now, and that's that every time you go into one of these sections, Siri just comes on. And that's fine and dandy for using Siri, but why would you be touching it if you wanted to use Siri? Because if you wanted to use Siri, you could just push the voice button over there or any, or hold down on this, the home button here. I don't understand why that keeps activating constantly. It does require an extra step to That seems like cut an extra out. step to turn her off and move yeah. on to what I could just I guess, already get I to. I guess I can see that. Yeah, Android sure. Auto. And I guess we can head into Maps, see how that is. Apple this, Maps. <laughs> yeah, this is one area um, I can't say I'm a huge fan of Apple on. I actually downloaded Google Maps on my iPhone because I don't really like Apple Maps. Oh wait, I can't pitch to <laughs> Zoom because it's not a option to pitch to Zoom. I also thought it was kind of weird. It kind of like stalks me and it knows like all the places that I've been over the past like month, which I thought was a little weird. Um, especially if like, maybe if you were trying to hide something, I mean, I don't know. You can't visit strip <laughs> clubs when you have Apple CarPlay. Now hopping over to Android Auto. Well, it looks totally different than Apple CarPlay. It looks worse. <laughs> Say what you will. <laughs> I think it's thoughtful in the design where you've got your five sections down here, including something Apple doesn't include, a home screen. Notice I've got my weather. And look, this is an appointment I have in my calendar to go to Kroger's. All I have to do is tap it, bam, right into the Google Maps. I can navigate directly there, no problem. And of course, don't even get me started on Google Maps. I can pinch to zoom, I can see traffic, <laughs> I can use voice commands, I can go over here, saved places, categories, traffic, and to add insult to injury, you have also have access to Waze as well on Android Auto, so if that's your jam, you've got that choice. Now, we'll check out audio. You, this defaults to your latest uh, audio source that you're using. You press it again, and that pulls up all your other stuff. Now, this is what I consider another strong suit of Android Auto, is you have way more app support. Yes, they have got these mainstream things, but do they have things like scanner radio? Who's gonna listen to that? Well, it's just an example. If I can have obscure stuff like this, I can also I also have so much more. I could show you a big list oh, of examples. Cool. See? The mail boy last name wearing a red checker shirt. See, this is action pack, guys. I'm getting into this. They're after someone a sexual assault in Chicago. <laughs> and you can really like your police officer. Yeah, this is fun. Voice commands. Google Assistant is unrivaled, and it doesn't matter how many menus you have, because Google Assistant can do anything I ask it to with voice only. So let's go ahead and go into that section of the video, because I know that it's going to end badly for you. <laughs> and oh, we'll see about that. All right, so I've got a list of voice commands that I want to ask. Some are easy, 
some are hard. And we're gonna see who comes out on top. Like I said, we're gonna be timing as well. Navigate to Adriana's. Navigating to Adriana, home. All right, Apple time. Navigate to Adriana's house. Getting directions to Adriana. Home. Stop. Oh, very close. Look, within a fraction. This is eleven point seven three East Main Street. How much was yours? 11.1 Very close though Both of those the were heck? able to find that within a contact Come So on, pretty, Siri. pretty impressive Navigate to the nearest Texas Roadhouse Getting directions to Texas Roadhouse Go 10.92 seconds and that is Starting route to Texas Roadhouse that is the That's nearest the one, Texas yeah. Roadhouse. That's the right one. Okay. 600 feet. 10 Turn left onto Beaumont Center seconds. Lane. Navigate to the nearest Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. All right. Head northeast on Leanville Lane toward Beaumont Center Lane. Then turn right, right onto Beaumont Center Lane. How long? Did it select the right one? Looks Take like we actually right took to slightly longer. Alright, so now let's test out a basic feature, and that's we're going to send text messages to each, each other and see which one can do that the fastest. Send text to Mason. What's up, man? Here's your text to Mason. What's up, man? Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Sending message. All right, it's done. And there it comes into the phone with a solid 19 seconds to send a text message without looking at the screen at all. Pretty good. Send text to Drew. What's up, man? Your message to Drew says, What's up, man? Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send it. Bam. All right, we got a 14 seconds and 47. <laughs> That's right. So that is coming in faster again. I feel like uh, the Google Assistant is listening a little bit longer. It's uh, thinking that we're going to keep saying something. All right, I got a real tough one. We're going to start asking some general knowledge questions. Let's see if they can just keep answering. What if I'm driving and I want to know? Uh, just uh, how old Donald Trump is. Let's find out. Um, well, go ahead. How old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 72 years old. Boom. <laughs> Fast. Oh. Bam. Answered. I, I didn't even stop that at the right time. It was like two seconds. I don't know if Siri can do that. We're gonna find out. Big money, Siri, here we go. How old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 72. Pretty yeah. fast, pretty it fast. Is. That's, I would say that's exactly the same amount of time. Apparently these systems know a lot of trivia questions. Let's try some harder. Capital of Guyana. What's the capital of Guyana? Here's Guyana. Ooh. Direction. Nah, that's <laughs> not what you asked. Not the answer. I was trying to show it doesn't try to show you a map and then it doesn't even have a map, so then it just <laughs> said not available. <laughs> Boo. Let's I, I think Android can probably do that. We'll try though. Uh, it seems a little hard to me. That's though. hard. We're not gonna time this one or anything. It's uh, if it can get a, it, it gets a point. It's a very difficult task. We'll see what happens. What is the capital of Guyana? Georgetown is the capital of Guyana. Boo! What, what, what? <laughs> Who See, even cares about Guyana? There's plenty of Nobody, obscure facts. No. 
whatever you're thinking Nobody about. Nobody even knows where that's Whatever at. you're thinking about while you're driving, you might be deep in thought and you want to know something real specific, Google's got your back. And Apple is, just doesn't have that same reliability. Play Ice Flow. Play Music Ice Flow Station. <laughs> oh, we got that for free. <laughs> I own that song. It's downloaded. Thank you very much. That's just wrong. There was some alarm or something. What is the Ice Flow Radio? So Google's taste of music is pretty bad, I have to admit. Alright, so you've got Ice Flow and your Google Play Music on your Apple, so I'm betting Apple is really not going to want you to use Google Play Music, so they're going to not do this correctly either. We're probably not. Alright, let's go ahead and see. Play Ice Flow. Play rock music. You don't have any rock music. <laughs> oh yeah, there's rock music somewhere, just not in Apple Music. Let's see how the Android handles this. Play rock music. Sure. Here's a Google Play music station called Hard Rock Hot List. Alright, here we go. Rock music is coming up. Successfully, didn't just say I can't do it. It did it. Uh. But let's add an extra step to the process. Now we're going to specify even what app we want it to go into. So the query will be play rap music on Pandora. Apple's gonna get this one. Alright, so go ahead. Play rap music on Pandora. Here you go, asking to play rap. Alright, we're loading up here. Alright, thinking about it. Loading. signal but it's up and it was about 15 seconds here it goes. Think it's a game. Think it's a game. so it took about 15 seconds minus the part where we lost signal to load that up but I'm impressed that it could do it that's very good that's pretty fast yeah that's a very fast uh, thing and you could also specify you know an artist or something like that so that's very handy while you're driving let's try it on Apple now Play rap music on Pandora. I can't play from Pandora. What? Where else can you play from? <laughs> Apple Music, I no. guess, right? If you don't use Apple Music, then <laughs> I guess you're screwed. That's a big con because most people don't use Apple Music. Use Pandora, Spotify, Slacker, uh, uh, mm, whatever. Lots of different things, but Apple Music would be like probably the last thing on the list, right? Yeah, I don't use that. You have to pay for uh, stuff on that. Right. Alright, so the last things we're going to wrap this up with are going to be two queries uh, about kind of a calendar, just asking kind of a, a question about uh, what's coming up and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and give this a try. What's the weather today? Tonight in Lexington, it's predicted to be 78 and partly cloudy. It's currently 83 and mostly cloudy. Well, there you go. What's the weather? It's currently partly cloudy and 84 degrees in Lexington. Temperatures are heading down from 84 degrees to 78 tonight. 
Oh, Siri got it too. That's current and future weather, so that's pretty good. All right, and we'll try one more thing. What am I doing tonight? That event is called Go to Kroger. It's today at 9 p.m. in Kroger Marketplace, 3175 Beaumont Center Circle, Lexington, Kentucky, 40513, USA. I know, <laughs> I know what country there you go. go. Come on now. Well, so I, they read that from my calendar to know that I wanted to go to Kroger's and told me the exact location. And then, like I've already shown, you can navigate directly to that from the home screen. So that's, that's uh, definitely a win in that regard. So let's see if uh, Siri can do that same thing. What am I doing tonight? I didn't find any appointments for tomorrow after 7 p.m. Tomorrow after 7 p.m.? What does that mean? Tonight is tonight, right? What am I doing tonight? I didn't find any appointments for tomorrow after 7 p.m. Why would he go to tomorrow at 7 p.m.? That makes no sense. <laughs> this is tonight. Tonight is now. I'm pretty sure I said tonight, did I not? I... I think you mean tomorrow, but it's, I don't know. Try today. What am I doing today? Here's your appointment. At 9 p.m., film Android Auto and Apple CarPlay video. So there you have it, folks. Siri does not know what tonight means. <laughs> what? Because yeah, that's, tonight that's odd. stands for the night of the current day. And Siri does not understand that. You have to say today, even if your appointment is at 9 p.m., like our ones that we made up. Well, there you have it, guys. There's your answer to which one is better. Does it change either of our minds? No, no. It's maybe, to me, it seems like the more well-rounded uh, as far as the feature set, but uh, there's, I won't deny it, there's probably not a big enough uh, difference to dictate what device you buy. Yeah, I will say Apple CarPlay seems a little bit more glitchy uh, of the two, but you know, I think it's a little bit faster for stuff that I'm going to use all the time, like sending messages, making calls, that type of stuff, and that is why I really appreciate Apple CarPlay. But anyway, we thank you for joining us on this video, and as always, please subscribe. And hit the um, notification bell. Yeah, definitely bell. hit the notification bell. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive devices.